Hello, Monsters of Anarchy, and welcome back. It's Total War Warhammer 3 and part 4 of my Lead Demon Prince, Legions of Chaos. I thought it was called Demons of Chaos. Legion of, Legion of Chaos campaign. With Tracy, the magnificent bitch. He's about to uh, slice through the enemy lines there. Absolutely devastating. Getting zero kills, though. Uh, but doing 437 damage. Held us gold, which was uh, which is quite nice. We're pulling Tracy's army back a little bit because they, they really want to kill her. And Tracy is... It appears that they're gunning for Tracy. For she's got a speed of 112, which means she could just basically kite these guys all day. Now, why we didn't get the ambush, I don't know. How many kills now, Tracy? 34 kills. That's not bad. I mean, you've reduced... 1, 2, 3, 4... 4, 5... Five and a half units down to about half strength. So, I mean, that's pretty effective. And here comes the rest of our fighting force, including, of course, Ted. And a horde of bloodletters, warhounds, some plague drones, because why not? Tracy's just leading the enemy general, Theodric Gausser, on a merry little dance there. The rest of our forces now moving up to support and Ted is going to go straight in. Because why not? Ted can kind of... He can just do that kind of shit. Oh, you came to the wrong neighbourhood, boys. Sure, shoot me with arrows. See if I care. Ted taking a little bit of fire there, but he's fine. Meanwhile, the rest of our forces are now moving into position. A little stream of corruption there. Ah, humans are so squishy. Tracy charging into melee combats, backed up by the Warhounds. The rest of our forces also moving up to support. Just going to get her claws dirty. Not for the first time. Ted is a murder train, as he should be. 150 kills. If only we had jam. Meanwhile, our blood letters carving through these spearmen. These guys are just no match for us. They're fodder. They're literally just fodder. Some flesh hounds in there as well. I, I want to eventually replace all of my Chaos War Hounds with flesh hounds because they're better. And, yep, looks like Ted is just murdering his way through everything, of course he is. Meanwhile, Tracy's actually taking a little bit of damage there. I'm not sure what... F I mean, I, I guess the Odric, maybe, but, like, she she's a higher level than him and her stats are way better than his, right? Yeah, so, like, how... How she was getting beaten up, I don't know. You're right, Trace. I'll take that as a yes. I think so. And it's mop up time. Thankfully, we've got lots of doggos to do the mopping up. Uh, there's lots of dead bodies around Ted for a good reason. With 319 kills, he, yeah, well, I mean, you, you just can't stop the murder train that is Ted, can you? Ah, oh, Tracy the Magnificent and Ted the Bear Penetrator. Truly the power couple of the case. It's like Idris Elba and literally anyone, really. Um, okay, good. So let's... I'm tempted to go a little bit more undivided. Do I go a little bit more undivided? I don't know. I, I'm kind of tempted. I'm tempted to go... A I'm going to go undivided. I don't know why. I just felt it. I just felt it calling to me. Uh, a shimmering rift appears, beyond which lies a zigzagged floor bound by crimson curtains. The room is empty, save for four bone-white plinths, each of which bears an eldritch icon. The dark gods wish to know where your loyalty lies. A screaming tome? It's not restful bedtime reading, is it? A droning tumour? A howling chalice? or a mo it's, it's all very noisy, isn't it? Like, this is not something you can really put up in your house. Um... 
seen as well. Mm. Now, seen, seen as we're I don't want to fight Scarbrand, so I'm going to take a Howling Chalice. Got an Agent of Temptation, and Ted is a Scourge of Mankind. Very nice. Talking of Scourge of Mankind, we've dealt with Mankind, which is good. Although it does, it doesn't look like we were spotted. So basically, he managed to go and attack Tracy through Ted, and I didn't get the ambush chance, which is a bit weird in my opinion. A bit weird. I don't, I'm not entirely. Okay, because armor and melee attack, that's going to give us more weapon strength. Do I do this? Let's give him a big spiky arm. He gets mortal blow as well, which does, you know, give him a big boost. I quite like that. Uh, this would, I mean, missile resistance would be nice. So we get the same missile attack, we get a bit of missile resistance, and we get that arm, extra armor piercing. I don't know if I need the armor piercing, though. The missile resistance would be nice, but I think that's that's probably fine. So we will we will stick with that for the moment. Right, okay, and then... Uh, growing... Yeah, no, don't really care about that. I... It says demons... Are demons of chaos literally any chaos faction? Is that basically what that's saying? Because, like... Do not confuse our dealings with amity. It says 20, so I guess... Yes? Maybe? Basically, I, I just... You know, I've, I've got enough problems with Kislev and the Wood Elves and, you know, humans. I don't really want to have to deal with the demons on top of that. It just it just seems like too much. So, um... I'll do something like that. And Brian... Ooh, now. More melee attack. Oh, my boy's already got quite a lot of melee attack. But charge bonus, I mean, charge bonus would be quite good, right? Spell resistance, don't want to speak to spell resistance. Yeah, Locus of Fury. Most privileged of and Tracy took a bit of a beating there. I think maybe it's because she doesn't have the armor. I'm just surprised she took so much damage because, you know, her stats are pretty, pretty fucking good. I mean, Pit of Shades would be quite nice. We don't really have much magical support. So if we maybe do this... Hmm. No, actually, I changed my mind. Because that's more speed, isn't it? I... You know what? Reducing armor is is never a bad thing. So we do that, then we can get Evasion, and we can hit Pit of Shades. Suffering this will bring. Yeah, it's, it's pretty pretty good. Not going to lie. Okay, we're going we're gonna to kill... I think there's rats up here. And basically, we're going to go and kill them. We're going to kill the rats. We're going to build... Build our buildings. Build some infrastructure stuff. Gorby's Chariot of Corn, I'm not super interested in. What I want is Blood Crushers. Um, but it probably makes sense to beef up the defences all along the coast. Because we know what's probably going to happen. Oh, an iridescent horror. Thank you. And apparently we completed that because... G good. Anyway, uh, you, right, you come over here. What's your name? Corvum. Uh, I think you mean... Carl. Okay. We know there's Skaven there. And I took a... a hello. No higher power than I. It, are you high? Okay. Okay, there's going to be Skaven here, but... Yeah. Yeah, out of the way, go on, shoot. Yeah, we're going to declare war. Don't even care. Don't even care. What is this garrison looking like? Because if it's the... Uh, it's not too bad, actually. If it was the... If it was, like, the Skaven building capital thing, I'd be like, ugh. But this... This isn't too bad. This... This I can live with. We could just... We could just seduce some units. Um, is that... It, does it cost us money? Because I don't... I mean, of all the... Could, I don't really want to seduce any rats. Just the very thought of it is... Uh, and Ted going up to someone going, Hey! Hey, good looking. And then just hearing a lot of chittering is like... Ugh. The problem with Skaven is there's so bloody many of them. Like, killing is not a problem. It's killing all of them. 
I mean, they outnumber us almost four to one. And plus, they have lots of annoying little missile shots, which, you know, shouldn't do much damage in theory. In practice, enough of them will take Ted down. Fortunately, Ted's an absolute bruiser, so he's, he's probably going to be fine. So yeah, Bloodless is charging up the hill. And these clan rats are going to be no match for our bloodletters. Although they, these guys actually have a lot of melee defense. I think because they've got the bonus from the settlement. Um, so they're they're pretty pretty tanky. We're going to have to send our furies in to mop up these night runners. Because the last thing I want to do is get shot up by night runners. Fortunately, they don't seem to be interested in fighting. So the furies should be able to pick them off quite nicely. Now we've got our Chaos Warriors in here as well. We're going to be chopping through the clan. It's weird that Korn has quite a lot of mortal followers in his demonic army, isn't it? I, I think... I mean, the demons have never... I guess the demons have always kind of been like a, a, a race that you use in tandem with each other rather than individually. Like, if you're going demons, you probably have, you know, a Korn and Zinch army or something like that. So you're going to have a mix of them. Because just having one demon type is, is often quite limited. I need to get some of these exalted blood letters because those boys, oh, they're very killy. Tracy's back. She's only got 2k health left, so we're going to have to be careful with her. She's very fast moving in to take this objective. We're sending some Chaos Warhounds to take that objective. Ted having a little bit of trouble just killing off all these rats. Fortunately, he does have assistance. I don't know where the clan rats are going, but they seem to be... Uh, are they clan rats or slaves? I think they're clan rats. Ugh, I... I do, I do love the idea of the Demon Prince. I think now that his, now that I've got a modded his, his effects to be stronger, he's a lot of fun. And I mean, Scarbrand's ludicrous himself, so I don't see the problem with having a, a Lord that is very, very strong. That doesn't seem to be an issue. Taken one little objective there. We're going to take this objective over here, which is good. That'll take down that tower. We are somewhat stuck because we're trying to force our way through these clan rat spears, but they do have quite a lot of melee defense, which is slowing us down. I mean, we are chunking our way through them, but they're, they're you know, we're under fire and they are being very resilient. Fortunately, Brian's here. So we're going to push our way through these clan rats and then hopefully get a nice little surround, mop up the rest of these guys, and that should be fine. Ted's chasing clan rats around. I need to get him to kill the Grey Seer. If we can kill the Grey Seer, I reckon that'll cause a bit of a problem with uh, Skaven morale. At least what's left of them. There's a lot of little rat bodies. Looking at the numbers, well, we've kind of cut them in half. Which is fine. We need to kill more, though. Let's, uh, let's norm our way through the escape and slave spears. Even these guys got 26 melee defense. I think it mostly comes from this. Yeah, 15% melee defense increase. What the fuck is this? That doesn't look safe. That doesn't look safe at all. It's a health and safety nightmare. Okay, we need to get our doggos around behind this blob here. You can see our, our bloodlessers are taking a lot of damage. They are killing a lot of stuff, as you'd expect, really, against clan rats. And actual numbers-wise, they actually haven't lost that many. They've lost quite a lot of health. Like 100 kills there, 134 kills there. Just murdering their way through all of these clan rats. I mean, there's a lot of clan rats, though, so, you know, really should be murdering your way through them. We need to chonk our way through these Gaven Slaves. 
Again, weirdly resilient. Causing us no end of trouble. Still, we are fine. Uh, Ted is currently trying to murder the Grey Seer. Unfortunately, his little frail body is is airborne. Get him, Ted. No, Ted, you flop. No, Ted. Ted, down, down here. Ted, Ted, we've been chased away from this objective. But Tracy can move her troops up to join the fray. Which is fine. We're moving our forces up to take this objective over here. Managed to get us around with some flying units. That'll mop up those clan rat spears quite nicely. And we're now capturing this objective. We're going to bring our flesh hounds round to the rear here, which should help. While the Blood Letters and Brian finish off these Game and Slave Spears. And some doggos get around behind as well. Once we get this around, these units should start retreating. There's a large pile of little Skaven bodies there, but it looks like a rout is about to happen as the Flesh Hounds come tearing down the hill. That's only going to increase the likelihood of a rout there. I mean, they're actually still quite... Oh, there we go. The leadership is, is starting to drop. But these guys are actually still, you know, 29 leadership for Skaven. Fighting, you know, horrors from another dimension. That's fair play to them. That's pretty good. Tracy's captured. The main objective... And it looks like army losses are taking effect. They've only got half of what they had. Ted's up to 238 kills. There we go. You could, uh, rather than send one clan rat flying, you could have turned around and killed all of these clan rats. Never mind. The main thing is we now have warhounds coming in from this direction. Warhounds coming in from behind. So this horde, this horde of ratties is trying to desperately escape the slaughter is only running directly to their doom. Take that, Nost- Oh, we did lose a unit of Furies, but oh, that's fine. They didn't see that one coming, did he? Uh, let's make this... a... Slanesh. Think. Not for long. And the Forbidden Citadel is over there. And it's we controlled by someone it, who we like don't it. have any kind of treaties with, which is fine. Bow. I do not have a problem with that. So, we do have global recruitment and it's kind of open. Three turns for a blood shrine, though. Eh, that's quite a long time to recruit. Let's get another another warriors of okay, uh, corn warrior boys. That one. Let's get some of those lads. Uh, has that ruined our reputation? Yeah, it's fine. Worst case scenario. I mean, we're already at war with most people. Is it really going to have that much of an impact on me? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's upgrade that one. Most privileged of and Black Gulch is actually sort of fairly well defended. So I'll, I'll get some cash in here. Unless. I would like to get some Demon Axe. Even some Hell Striders would be good. You know what? Let's, let's get that. Let's get that one. And route march. Because campaign movement is is too good not to have. All of this stuff is good. I think you probably... Unless you're going to go Chaos Undivided. You probably want to go for sort of like... Oh, a Staff of Reaping. What else do we have? Desi oh, Devastating Flanker. I do enjoy being a Devastating Flanker. Because that double their charge bonus when attacking from the rear or flank of an enemy. And considering we can fly, that's literally all the time. Literally all the time. Brian. 
He's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty bloodletter. I'm going to make you a little bit faster. And I think that is fine. Oh, you know what we want? We want Carl in here, don't we? I'm right, what we're going to do is we're going to merge you, lads. That's then... We've got enough space. In fact, I might get rid of the... The Marauders are just kind of... We don't really want Marauders, do we? It, I mean, it'd be helpful if I could afford anything else. Um, but, you know, sometimes... Uh, right, let's cancel you. That gives us enough money to then... Get you, boys. And then we can upgrade Ice Drake Fjord in a bit. There's no rush. See, this is, you know, temp we're okay with Temperance. That's nice. All this is like expansion opportunities here. What do, what do we like? So we we hate ocean and desert, but to be honest, I'm not entirely... I think that, I think the... I think the Warpstone Desert is a desert. And some people are like, well, of course it's a desert. It's not desert in the name. But I, I, I'm not entirely sure it might not be Wasteland. But I think it is desert. So, But that's far away, so we don't have to worry about that. Jungle, I don't... I, well, there is probably one jungle province like in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, mountain, there's a fair few mountains. And, of course, magical forests unpleasant. But still, that's that's not bad. And then we've got Savannah, Temperate Island, Temperate, Chaotic Wasteland, Wasteland, and Frozen as stuff that we actually like, which is is great. I'm not sure why this is temperate, but that's fine. I mean, it looks, it looks a bit tundra-y to me. But that's fine. Uh, we probably do have some mountains around here. What's this? Salt to the earth. You want me to kill someone who's at war with a septic claw? I mean, I, I, I could, I guess. Do I want to upgrade you? Yeah, go on. Let's do it. I kind of, I kind of, I, I would like a way that you could maybe change the type of because I should have done this to a different doing it doing two to corn was a mistake but I didn't realize that was the capital never mind we'll, we'll take more capitals it's fine the orthodoxy dot really gotta be honest because that one does not seem to be doing shit oh hello can you look look Ellie can I call you Ellie Will you fuck off, please? Supreme Champion. I don't think it's too much to ask you to just piss off and leave me alone. Carl, get in here. Okay, you come down here. We'll do a little ambushette. And I'll bring you down here. Inevitably, you'll get attacked first for some reason, but we don't know why. Uh, but it's probably no point worrying about it. Right. I'm hoping that we can get enough garrison here that basically the Wood Elves will take one look at that and go... Oh, actually, I think we'll go somewhere else. And we've got some cash in here. I mean, money's looking pretty good. We we did... Do we still have the... No, we've lost the upkeep reduction. But we're still doing okay. Upkeep wise, we've got money's actually look. How the fuck did you actually manage to reach me? Can I just auto resolve this? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a thing, isn't it? I'm gonna go. Oh, that's so cool. There's something not quite right there, in my opinion. Unless they changed it, but. Void armor. Now I I know that Ted's cannot have cannot have equipment or ancillaries. Now I don't I'm not too bothered about the equipment. I think it would be nice for him to have a talisman and enchanted item, an arcane item. So those three, just those those th that'd be quite nice. Like don't worry about the armor or weapons as long as like he can get stuff that is equivalent in his. And I I think with this mod, the answer is yes, he can, which I like. Um. But still, ancillaries, I think, is probably quite important. The fact he can't have ancillaries is a bit odd, in my opinion. Um, right, you have Void Armor. Tracy. Charm Shield or Enchanted Shield? What do you think? 
I say we go Charm Shield. Let's go with that one. Uh, you don't need Spell Resistance. Trickster Shard you could have just for shits and giggles. A Master Musician. Campaign Movement Range is pretty useful. A Lich Bone Pennant is... Yeah, not that useful. Divine immortality. Okay, we'll get a vet. Oh, you can have one of these. Okay, so what does this do? So melee defense and physical resistance for 22 seconds, which is okay. More speed charge bonus. Oh, that's quite nice. Less me Ooh, less melee defense. Or Pit of Shades. I'm going to get Pit of Shades. Such wondrous suffering this will bring. That seems fine. You can't have anything. Have an enchanted shield just to keep you alive. Uh, and have some blue fire, I guess. Okay, where have those fucking... Oh, they're down... Why are you down there? What are you doing? What is your plan? I don't trust you. You at war with anyone? You Wait, are you at war with Castelton? Really? Hang on. Hang on. Where is he? Where is the little shit? There he is. Holy balls he is. He's at war with Nordlands. How the hell did that happen? I'm not complaining, but... Good. Good. It's, it's like they're all keeping themselves busy for me. Thanks, guys. Because, you know, I do have stuff to be doing. Uh, I need to take the Forbidden Citadel. Is, this, is the coastline going to be fine by itself? You know what? Maybe. Maybe. If we can beef up the defences, I think you'll be alright. It might be alright. Now, the Forbidden... Well, ideally, we need to... No, they don't seem to have an army there, which means if we move quickly, we might be able to secure it. And if we can secure that, then we've kind of got a route into Kislev, and then we can start hitting them hard. And to be honest, if this if this goes very well, I might up the difficulty again, because I'm, I'm currently playing on hards, because it's like very hard is kind of bullshit, but I, I guess as long as we've kind of got a nice base to work from, then it's not... It, it's probably fine. Um, we've got 4k, we've got those buildings going up, which is good. Uh, let's... Because we could get more money from this, couldn't we? So let's do something like that. We just need to come down and kill these guys. And then go and grab the Forbidden Citadel. The Uncle Kindred are dead. Looks like the Waddells are harassing Castalton. Now, I don't want them sneaking around behind me. So, we will we'll try and take the Forbidden Citadel first, then maybe get Tracy to hit the Tower of Crack. I think she's almost there. How many? Wait, you guys. Um, how many settlements do you guys actually have left? Just out of interest. You've got that one. Okay, that's fine. We can we can grab that. We can grab that. Is there any, is there any diplomacy we can do? Uh, no one wants an under... No, 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 nothing. Absolutely nothing. Not even a peace treaty. Where's... Where's what's-his-face? Oh, I've got. I've already got an aggression pack with what's-his-face. Haven't I? Scarbrand. That's the one. He's pretty chill. And also, he's looking quite strong. He's strength rank... How am I strength rank 5 compared to... He's got so much more stuff. He's got seven settlements. Maybe I've got seven settlements. Who knows? Who's strength rank one? Wow, this is just a set of strength rank two. Really? On five settlements. Interesting. Disciples of Mora four. I'm five. Ice Court is seven. Eternal Scryer. How's all this working? We just don't know. I mean, the nice thing is I haven't been dragged away to do the rift. Because obviously, if I was doing this normally, and then the rift turned up, and I'd have to go and send... I'd, I'd only have Tracy left to fend off attacks. But 
I don't, I, I've now, I've got everything, you know, I don't, I don't need to send my, my one main army off to go and do the Rift stuff, which I think is the main downfall of that Rift campaign, is that one, that the Rifts don't have any effects on the campaign map, really, apart from taking your army away, and because the AI can feel so many more stacks than you, and is so biased towards the player, that you end, you always end up fending off hordes upon hordes of enemies, and then it goes, all right, now your main army's going to go off and do something else. You're like, well, what, ha, what, what do I do then? And they're like, no, I don't, I don't care. It's up to you. I, that, I think that's my problem with it. It, it feels like punishment. That's the problem with the rifts. It feels like a punishment. It doesn't feel like a benefit. It feels like someone coming over and just kicking you in the nuts, and that's not ideal really if i'm gonna be brutally honest all right you are not necessarily a problem Much power. Are you, hang on are you guys at war with the other guys you are at war with the other guys that's fine i don't really care about them okay trace you stay there for a minute we're going to go and hit the Forbidden Citadel. Take that. Then we're going to come back and maybe kill you. I haven't decided. Oh, hello, Castelton. Mm, no. You're actually laying siege to their settlement, which is nice. You got the thirst, have you, Trace? No worries. I, uh, now, where are we? Black Gulch. Black, you know, we, we, we do have defenders at Black Gulch, so we're probably okay there. This seems fine. I could get, I'm gonna get the Demonettes, because I think Trace needs some Demonettes in her life. Sister's doing it for themselves, am I right? And we're gonna have to get defenses here, just because I can't, I cannot trust that they just won't come. Eventually, I think what we can do is is probably knock those defences down. And we'll probably be fine. But for the moment, I think it's probably a good idea to make sure that... Uh, let's go with pink fire, because clean magic is garbage. It's probably a good idea just to make sure we're defended there, just in case. Because just, just, just can't trust them, can you? You just can't trust them. Uh, right. Did we have new wings? So, we currently got Pestilent to collect. Uh, we could get Cloud of Flies. That's going to give us the same hit points. It's going to give us slightly more armor. But, we won't have the damage per second effect. Now, the damage per second effect is nice. But... Is there something? Is there something different we want to do here? We could get more speed. That's not for and more chance. That does give us more speed. That would make him quicker, which would be nice. Mystifying miasma would be okay. That's going to give us purge the weak. I'm tempted maybe to go for this just for the extra spell mastery. Not that we have many spells, of course. But maybe Cloud of Flies would be good. So that's... So with that we've got a 95 charge bonus. With that we've got 101. But that's going to increase his speed by 21%. Plus we get Purge the Weak. Which does help his vigor. And is going to make him a lot faster. So I might go with that. Chaos in yeah, we're declaring war. Get in there, lads. I still like the minor settlement battles. I think they're good. And I think they're definitely more interesting than just bog standard field battles. I think the only problem is fighting quite so many of them. 
particularly because, you know, obviously the AI likes to attack your undefended settlements, so you have to fight a lot of battles to defend your settlements. And it's good that you can actually defend them now, but, it, you know, fighting fight quite so many minor settlement battles is maybe not ideal. You know, against like a bog standard garrison, you should just be able to wipe them out. That shouldn't be a problem. So got a blood. Obviously, the bloodlessers have flaming swords. This would be better. But fortunately, Brian has a flaming sword. So get in there, Brian. Get him, boy. Because ice trolls do not like fire. Understandably, minus forty. They got forty-five percent weakness to fire, which is why Carl is also shooting them with fire, which is obviously good. Ted, meanwhile, is beating the shit out of the enemy general, as per usual. I mean, the fact that he has one point one k. Weapon strength helps quite a bit. Where are you running to? Sven... Svanvir? Fjordbreaker? Is that like a sex boast? I don't know. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Okay, well, you kind of missed, but apparently he fell over and knocked his head off. Never mind. You've also got a puppy here to kill. Brave of the puppy to try, but it doesn't look like he's going to succeed. Meanwhile, some of our bloodletters are being picked apart by these ice wolf chariots. Quite nasty, but of course we've got some of our piercing, but we're being attacked by marauder chariots. There's chariots all over the place. Nightmare. Uh, we need reinforcements over here to help out. Elsewhere, we're easily picking off the enemy marauders so we can secure ourselves... The third capital? Is it a third capital? I think it is a third capital. Look, there's a doggo. Hit him. You missed, Ted. 112 weapon strength. Melee attack. And you missed, you doofus. How can you miss again? Got a ruddy great hammer. Get him. Honestly. Got, honestly. Some people. The Chaos Warriors of Corn chonking their way through the Marauders with great weapons. Very, very easily. And we've captured that victory location, which means that tower is not being built. This is, uh, this is pretty easy. Uh, we're taking a little bit of damage down here. These chariots have caused us no end of trouble. And now we've got marauders also hitting our flank. We need some need a little bit of assistance. Two of those ice wall chariots are still alive. I mean, they've got very little health left, but they're still alive. Some Furies dropping in to join the fray. Meanwhile, Brian is alone facing a horde of angry ice trolls. You got this, Brian. We believe in you. Yeah, he's fine. He'll be alright. He's got a big flaming sword. He's more than alright. And it looks like basically a mop-up operation from here. Took a little bit of damage from those chariots, but backed up by the Furies. I think we're going to do okay. The Bloodletters have lost about half their number. But they did get 60, 60 kills, some of which were nasty chariots. So that was not bad. Yeah, there we go. A rout. And they didn't crumble either. So you kept it together, guys. Good job. Okay, not bad. Uh, right, not corn this time. I'm tempted to go Slanesh. We could go Nurgle. Maybe Surprise Zinch? Fuck it, we're doing Surprise Zinch. Who saw that coming? No one. Oh, I'm so unpredictable. And we've got to unlock the teleport stance for our armies. It does cost us 40 wins of magic to do it, but does give us instant ambush and, of course, teleportation, which is nice. Um... I'm kind of tempted to take Lightning Strike, but there's a lot of intimate allies. Um, I tend to get the upkeep reduction. I just don't know. I feel like maybe you kind of go like... To, I'm, I'm tempted to like go Slanesh and Corn. I think those two will complement each other quite well. I think maybe Nurgle and Zinch would do quite well together, which is obviously weird considering that they're... 
they're the opposites. But I feel like with Corn and Select, you get, you get quite a sort of like big tanky front line, with lots of killer guys, then some good flanking, fast moving units, and you get some good shooter units with a very, very tanky front line there. So actually, I think they complement each other rather well, which is maybe why they're so angry with each other. It's, it's one of those things where they start a fighting and then it turns into kissing and then they start, and that's that's where my erotic Nurgle Zinch fan fiction is going to start. Anyway, so let, I do like my flesh hounds. And my littles of corn, so. Uh, no, 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 be. Let's get up keep production. Let's get up keep production because that gives us more money to spend, which means we can, we can do more things. This is exciting. Uh, so, we're going to spend all our money doing that. There we go. And obviously, we need to take the tower of. of How much of a garrison does that have? It doesn't have much, does it? Most privileged Can we take that? Can we reach it? I think it might be just out of range. Might be just out of range. So, we do a little bit of raiding, maybe. And then we can bring you back around. Obviously, we still have to deal with the Sol. And it looks like Kostaltin's getting getting going. But also, he's now under attack by Wood Elves. So, he sucks. We're going to go and kill him. And everyone in the M... Oh, my God. They took Marienburg. Holy shit. I don't think I've ever seen... I don't, I don't think I've ever seen my allies in Warhammer 3 be anything less than just complete and utter useless. Yes. That's words. The sentence structure. It's it's hard. It's a hard one. Mm, that's what. Anyway. Uh, miscast base chance. Nah. That's not that exciting, is it? We could get Bejeweled Greaves. It's going to give us a little... Well, it's a little bit of barrier, but it's not really that useful. Doom Shield, there. I, I still like the two hand weapons seem way better, mostly because the, the shields are kind of trash. Like, if they gave you, like, you know, 15 melee defense, 50 missile, I'd be like, okay, okay, yes, yes, this, this could be useful, make you a little bit, you know, make you really tanky. But a pucker just shattered beak, more power recharge, a route of and transmutation of lead. But. But, you know, more melee attack. Not that, I mean, 105 melee attack, you can pretty much hit anything with that. To be honest, you've probably got enough melee attack, and that's when, that's when you can kind of go with something slightly different. Like, we could go back to the oversized... I, I do quite like Mortal mortal Blow, but we could make him just that little bit more tanky. And it does give him more melee attack, though, so there is that. What we could maybe do with this, like... Gate of Chaos and Plague of Rust. Both nice spells. Gives him a little bit more armor. I'm tempted maybe to do something like that. Because that lets us summon Blue Horrors and Plague of Rust, plus a little bit of extra. So it just gives a little bit more utility and drops our melee attack down a little bit. But still, 85 is, is very, very good. That's, that's not going to be a problem. A little bit more armor. That's good. Some more abilities to play with. Double good. Let's go with that. Mmm. Mmm, there we go. And also, I mean, Carl, I, I like the fact you're here, but... I mean, to be fair, Infernal Gateway is a great spell. It's just that the first line of spell... Like, Pink Fire is okay. Glean Magic is, I believe, literally useless. Like, it does nothing. It's just... It, it's just like... I have too much Winds of Magic. I guess I'll burn eight for no good reason. And Treason of Zinch is, is fine... At the moment, I guess I guess melee attack debuff is okay, so I guess we'll go with that. I guess we'll go with that. And hunt, make you a little bit faster, all that kind of good stuff. We do have a fencer's blade there. We've got the ether blade, which is more weapon strength, which is probably probably better for you. Like the plague fail the plague fail is okay, but you're just not that tanky, are you? Like, giving you some more melee attack into... I, I think that's probably the best option there. Let's give you that one as well. I could actually give you the Plague Flail. Because that way you're just going to do damage to everyone. Plus, you're definitely always going to be in melee, Brian. Because you are off the chain, mate. Recruitment cost for Fleshhounds. I... 
Don't know why you'd bother. Okay, well, things are looking very, very good for us. And I didn't have to deal with any rifts, which is a real bonus. I might actually, at this point, turn the difficulty up. Because we could do that, potentially. I also might put a poll up on the Discord to go, what, what Chaos God should we go for? Like, I think it's probably a good idea to try and max out all of these. I don't think you need to go over until you hit one of these buttons, right? This, you hit these buttons and that... I don't know, I've never got that far. But, like, you, you're probably... So this will... Yeah, so all other glory gain is halted. So you probably want to make sure you max them all out at the same time. So we need to boost our little zinch up a little bit. We've got spawner zinch there. Um, some people said that the Dean Prince doesn't get research, and that's bad. But to be fair... You do get, so, I, I believe these effects affect your entire faction. So, for example, once you hit Slanesh Delights 5, you get melee, so your Marauders get 7 melee attack and 6 melee defense across the board. Any army gets that effect. Now, that is, <laughs> looking at the technology for the other races, that's way better than pretty much any technology they get. <laughs> Like, 10% missile strength of Blue Horrors. I genuinely... I, I think... I think Zinch's tech tree does give more ammunition, but I don't think it gives more missile strength. Um, so... Like, I, I, I don't think Zinch... Like, I don't know if this is the mod or not. That's the only problem. But I don't, I don't think the Flamers get anything. I think you get upkeep reduction for Flamers in Zinch's tech tree, but I don't think you get anything else. Um... I mean that that's really nice. Those are like the plague bearers that, that those those abilities are, I would love to see some of those abilities in Nurgle's tech tree because that's actually good abilities not not the shit ones. And then these ones are just really good. Up a 25% if you saw a 25% upkeep reduction for your in all of your you'd be like that is a tech I desperately need, right? Now <laughs> Summon from beyond. Summon some plague bearers. Yeah, army ability. Perfect. So, I might put a poll up just to go, what, what should, we, should we go undivided? Should we go Corn, Nurgle, Sinesh, or Zinch? Maybe I'll leave Zinch out. I don't want to go Zinch. I want to, I, like, get, getting some of his stuff is fine. I might even want some flamers, because they're quite fun. But, yeah, pretty much nothing else. Um, whereas, like, I, I like the Nurgle units. They're just quite, they're just very slow. Like, it's fine if your entire army is made up for them, but I think if we're if we're looking at kind of going Corn and Slanesh, that kind of gives you a quite fast-moving and effective sort of melee force, and I kind of think that's that's where I would like to go, but the, maybe the poll will decide. That's going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.